Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Dee from Iman and Beauty and um, I hope you all are in good health and Iman inshallah. But today I wanted to make this video about how to um, inspire you to bring your young child uh, closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and get to know him, know that he exists and be grateful that he is there. And this way um, you could also um, spend more time with your child as in the working partner who's rarely at home, mostly it's the father. The crucial and most important part in raising your child is to make dua. Really, this is the most important part. Um, I used to go to my mom and ask her mom, how did you know that, you know, how could you make us believe so much in God and be Muslims, you know, I'm not saying good Muslims because we are full of mistakes, but Alhamdulillah that we know that we are Muslims and follow the teaching and um, of Islam and God. So my mom always used to say, my dear child, I did what I had to do, but the first thing that I always did, I was raising my hands and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help me, to guide you. It is in His will. It is under in His control. I don't have it under control, which is true. I've seen many parents which are really good people, and unfortunately, um, their kid got into a wrong path due to school and bad friends and here and there. We don't have it under control. If it's in Allah's will, those children will go um, the righteous way. And even if they go, um, you know, into areas where the parents are worried about the child, um, in this moment, the only thing that I could just recommend is to make dua and pray that inshallah your child, your kid will stay or come back to the right path. Now to um, the inspiring story that I have to say. It was back in 2004 and I was at the house of my relative and he is a full-time working father in even traveling around sometimes. So I remember that um, there were his children and we were about to go to bed. Uh, they were brushing their teeth and such and then um, he called me and um, I was going to the kids bedroom and um, you know how Muslims sometimes have an ayah like the ayat al-kursi or surat al-nas um, these kind of short surahs as a pendant hanging around in their house so um, he had three small ones made out of clay in a turquoise color I remember very well and we were sitting there and he told uh, he called, t told his children to get their pendants, and they grabbed it, you know, out of place, out of upper shelves and away from the wall. And then they went to bed, and I was observing what's happening here. And um, then he said to one of his children that she should start. Um, what she is thankful for? What do you thank God for? And she started to talk, you know, she was like, Oh, I'm so happy that we ate ice cream today. And I'm so happy that Dee was playing hide and seek with us today. And I'm so happy for the nice dinner we had today. She was just blabbering, you know. She was, um, I believe, one or two years old back then. And she just chit-chatted and um, she thanked God. And the other uh, children did that as well. And then I also took that pendant from her and I said, I'm so happy that I was playing with you hide and seek today. And I thank God. So they started every term, every sentence with, I thank God. Um, and uh, he made them realize, you know, whatever good happened today is because Allah wanted to. So God wanted to. Um, we have to thank God for this. And mashallah today, Mashallah, and today I see these children um, being so, you know, confident about being a Muslim. The, the key point is that they grew up in a very non-Muslim community. I'm not saying that the, the community was against Muslims, but they were hardly Muslims. And um, I've also read on the side of Productive Muslim that people were asking, how can I, you know, raise my child more faithful? Make your child get to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their creation, in the positive happening in their lives. I've also uh, watched a video about uh, with Aman Khan, Sister Aman Khan from uh, Pearl Daisy, how she said, you know, when she was in the garden with her son and he saw a flower or uh, I believe a flower or a butterfly, um, 
she was explaining that this is God's creation and this is important. Also, I did my research on this point many times. Um, Brother Numan Ali Khan says that it is important and crucial for the working father to spend time with their children. So this is the great thing uh, in, in one way that, you know, the father who comes tired from home and wants to eat and have dinner, um, there's most of the time this point where he doesn't have time or not he forgets. I know that every father loves their children, but I think this is a very good point to also bond with your children, inshallah. Um, that when you go to bed, you talk with them, you know. The thing is, it has many effects. First, your child will get to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more and they will be thankful. Second of all, they will spend time with their father or their mother. Both of them can sit with their children. And um, third of all, also those parents will realize again, Alhamdulillah for this life, you know, seeing uh, the world through the eyes of your children and really gives you again another perspective and, and then some people you know they tend to forget uh, to be grateful so um, you can tell your children as well what you're thankful for once again I'm not st studying psychology I'm studying business informatics um, this is just one way to tell you to to hopefully inspire you and but I would highly recommend to not go into sensitive areas as in for example there is your child and she's in kindergarten and she's you tr try you know slowly try to tell them that you know we believe in God and um, we are Muslims and things like that I would be really sensitive with the point of saying you know when you do something bad you will go to hell or when you do something good you will go to Jannah just say that you know the more happy the more good things you do God will be happy about it you know um, things like that I wouldn't mention death especially children do not know what death means it is a really sensitive area and then of course nothing like kafir Udubla. I mean we even grown-ups shouldn't use the word like this lightly we don't know only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows who will go to Jannah he will judge he's the best judge so don't feed your child with that seed of of I would I don't want to say evil but still you know don't give them these ideas that the next day your your little child is running to a Sarah in the kindergarten and say oh you're not a Muslim you will go to hell no no such thing um, just tell them you have to do good deeds and when your child asks if Sarah is a Muslim as well then you can say you know she's a good person always tell your children to be respectful towards other creatures to be nice to other people feed your children with positive things that God is loving that God is giving that we should be grateful that the colors you know those go with them outside why not I really do recommend I have realized that the last times when I watched documentaries about nature and things like that I've realized this is actually these are the best family movies you could just spend time together or go out with your children to the zoo and the park. They have questions there. They, they need to get this gap be filled. As also Numan Ali Khan mentioned that it is your duty to win your children's hearts at a young age. You have to be their best friend. You have to be their companion. You have to be their um, diary, you know, just so they open up to you. Because if that gap is not filled by you, they will go out and seek that, you know, other people to, to, to fill up that gap. And God knows where those kind of friends are. So, you know, when your children tell you every story before bedtime, just be, you know, listening to them. Be their best friend. When I used to get in trouble, I was really scared to tell my mom. But alhamdulillah, the first thing, her first reaction was, is my daughter in good health? Is she doing well? And then afterwards, she was giving me the lecture. She was not bursting out. She was not, you know, in this way, my, 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 um, my fear to tell her something was, was gone. It, it went away more and more. And I was, you know, more bonding with her. And she is, alhamdulillah, my best friend. And, and uh, this is really important. You know, I know that the mother is all day there with her child, inshallah, if she's not working. Um, but um, the father should be no matter if it's a son or your daughter um be there for your child you know you had your dinner you you know you rested your one hour you had your tea you you came from work you're well rested you know it wouldn't hurt to just spend at least 
half an hour with your child before he or she goes to bed and talk with them about the creation and talk with them about what happened in your child's life every day you know it it's nice when they open up to you and when they got get to see you as their best friend inshallah it's really crucial and it's really important many parents tend to forget that make your child inshallah fall in love with being a Muslim or, um, you know, loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowing that there is God and knowing that God is giving and loving. So let's raise our hands and make dua that all the children of this dunya will stay and be on the right path, inshallah. And for those who lost their ways, that they will find their way back to the right path. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless and protect us all and forgive us all. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. This is Steve from Iman and Beauty. I hope it could help you in any way. Assalamu alaikum. Oh.